Hey there guys, Deontay Hates here and welcome to another episode of Subtract Reactions where we subtract the bullshit and give you guys honest reactions. Look at that shit, Star Wars. Oh my god, Star Wars, holy shit. Oh my god, no. No, this is a Harry Potter shirt. I cannot believe I said Star Wars. I'm so sorry, okay? I know this is Harry Potter. Look at this, look at this. Can you see the insignia? I can't see the camera. I don't know if you can see or not. You know what? I'm even gonna put on the, the sacred Autobot. Necklace. Fuck. This is like surgery. God damn. I feel like if you can do this, you can do surgery. If I can do this, that means that in like a dire ass situation, I can perform surgery. Like, I could probably stitch somebody up. I could be micro off of Punisher. And like stitch up Punisher's wounds whenever he comes back to the lab and he's all injured and shit. I am fucking having a hard ass time doing this. Jump cut to me with the necklace on, even though it took 10 minutes for me to put this motherfucker around my motherfucking neck. But how's it going though, guys? Today I'm going to be reacting to yet another video requested to me by my brother. This is Jump Force. Apparently, he told me that this is basically like some sort of multiverse situation happened where all these anime characters from like multiple fucking anime shows just like collided with each other and they're all just in a fucking video game. Rick and Morty shit. Rick and Morty. Oh, yeah, if I can fix the poster. Like that shit's been hanging down for a grip. For a motherfucking grip in my videos. So, look at that. It's fixed now. Yeah. <laughs> there are worlds that exist separate from our own. Mortal Kombat vibes. Where the impossible is reality. They consist Ooh. of both good and evil. These worlds were never meant to meet. But things have changed. Things have changed. Ooh! Now, they have begun to merge as one. And our last hope are the heroes we could only oh imagine united oh my God. for our survival. This is in America. The music's all like on Zimmer and shit. Oh. Oh. Music's Spider-Man. these like weird ass noises and shit. I do that in a lot of my videos. I noticed that someone else like might be in another room for you or some shit like that and I'm just like ah, ah, oh my god. You gotta hurry up and turn the volume down. Someone else is like what are you watching? What the fuck are you watching in there? I might be causing all that shit for you in your life and if I am, I'm sorry. My bad. My bad on that man. But that shit was fucking fire. That shit was fucking flame. Ah! Goku, Frieza, Luffy was standing on the fucking American flagpole. That that shit was fucking crazy. Just the imagery of everything Naruto or Naruto. I'm sorry. I don't know how you pronounce it, but I'm going to say Naruto. So you need to be fucking comfortable with me saying that. If that's not the right way, I apologize. But it's known throughout the Naruto slash Naruto lore that people pronounce it differently. So I'm going to say Naruto, damn it. And if you have a problem with that, I'm fucking sorry. When Naruto made his fucking shadow clones and he started running out of the building and the music was all like... <laughs> It was like Dark Knight. I was like, oh, shit. This is all dramatic as fuck. Dude, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't know the story for this. All I know is that they are fucking destroying America. You know what? If, if I woke up one day and I turned on the news and I saw Goku, like, 
just causing havoc in the fucking America world, in, in my, like, national lands, you know what I mean? Like, if, like if downtown was being destroyed by Frieza and Goku, I'd be like, oh my god, what the fuck's going on? Like, I'd look over and I'd be like, oh! I'd run down to the fight with my fucking Dragon Ball Z DVDs and be like, Goku, Frieza, stop, look at me, look at this, this is what you all have caused, is this not enough? Is this not enough? They suck an RU again and Goku powers up and then Frieza powers up and I just jump in the middle of them and I'm like, guys, listen, listen. Let's chill for a second. Pull out a bag of weed. I'm like, let's figure some shit out. And then cut to like all three of us sitting down at like a diner. So Army's got like the fucking area barricaded off and we're just like sitting in this fucking destroyed diner at a table. And we're just like smoking a blunt. And I'm just like, now listen, how about we just like try to figure out how the fuck you guys got here in the first place. Here's the thing, you all have fallen into a universe where we know you guys as a bunch of cartoon characters. So are you guys aware that to us, you guys are like just that, like fictional characters. Like Frieza, look at this. This is you right here. You know what I mean? Like I'd hand the DVD to Frieza and shit and he'd look at it. He'd be all like, Dragon Ball Z. Hmm. It took them three seasons for them to introduce my character. I would do some crazy meta shit. I would do some crazy ass meta shit. You know what I mean? Shout out to my motherfucking homeboy, Deadpool. Right there. Deadpool ass shit. Introduce comedy into the situation, ladies and gentlemen. It always works when you need to calm down some powerful, angry ass motherfuckers. I was excluding Naruto and Luffy. I'm sorry. I did not mean that. They're there as well. And they're just like... Chilling. We're all just like having fun and smoking. So yeah, all five of us at that point, we'd all just be laughing and having a good time. And then portals would like open up above us or like over in the diner area. And then like more anime characters would fall through and they're like ready to fight each other and shit. And then we like all look at each other and we'd be like, hmm. And then cut to like every fucking anime character that's in the game. We're all, <laughs> we're all just like chilling, all having a good time. And then like, the public starts like interacting with us maybe and, like the little kid just like hey I know you you're Naruto and then Naruto bends down and she's like <laughs> yeah and then like the public starts coming in and just like oh my god yeah anime characters Rawr! and like even though the town is like fucking destroyed everyone's just having a good time because it's like Goku and Frieza and fucking Naruto and just like we don't know why this is happening but for some reason it is, like the multiverse is real, you know what I mean? And then maybe, like, we all figure out a way to, like, travel to their fucking worlds because they're in our world, so that means that their worlds exist, you know what I mean? But we have knowledge of their world without us even being in their world, you know what I mean? So it's like, we know everything about them in their worlds without them knowing anything about us, you know what I mean? And it's like, what? What if... The writer slash creator of an anime show got dropped into the actual anime show that they created. Like, what would happen? Like, how would, like, I created you. I'm your god. Am I your god? Would that man slash woman be god? I'm just fucking around, guys. This game looks fucking amazing. I cannot wait for this shit. This is the E3 2018 trailer. So those graphics look amazing. I'm pretty sure there are going to be, if not, there already is more like gameplay footage, maybe like demo gameplays and shit like that. We'll definitely see more of this game, but that fucking shit looks dope as hell. I just want to like play this fucking trailer, and then while the fucking trailer's playing, I want to grab like all my fucking anime and shit that I can, and I'm just like, like, open up the screen even more, I'm like, Egh! and I'm like, Egh! I cross the fourth dimensional barrier, and I jump inside the world, and I'm just like, guys, stop, and I just do everything that I mentioned previously, and, uh, yeah, everything would be cool. You see that? I just saved lives, ladies and gentlemen. Hashtag, I save lives. Lives spelled with a Z. Yeah, that's pretty much it, so, yeah. But as always, guys, if you like my reaction, be sure to like and check this video for me. And if you're going to do that, I'm just going to comment to interact in the future. And if you're going to do that, I'm going to check subscribe button. Join the family, guys. Um, by the way, if you hear, like, a humming noise in the background, that's because I have my AC on right now. And, uh, I mean, maybe the PlayStation. It's like it has a low hum currently. Um, but it's not high. So, <laughs> I'm a 
Adult Swim on the Green Tour is coming to Louisville, Kentucky on June 17th. That's where I live. And so uh, if you're going to be there, I will be there as well. So, yeah. But all right. That's actually. So, yeah. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.